guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys liked that intro. Um, it was something kind of cool, in my opinion. It's sort of that like MTV Tumblr-esque um, effect, and I had actually a lot of fun making it. Um, yeah, it's it, it matches my aesthetic, I would say. Um, but yeah, in any case, I wanted to do a video today talking about what I think is the best beginner software that um, people can use to edit a YouTube video. And the reason I wanted to make this video today was uh, the fact that I've been getting a lot of questions um, these days about how I edit my videos. Um, people really leave nice comments about how I edit uh, my videos and whatnot. And um, it takes a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. It's something that I actually quite enjoy. Um, the editing process is something that I find really enjoyable. And I think it probably has to do with the fact that I do graphic design on the side and I just enjoy that whole process. Um, but for people that are just kind of getting started with it, I feel like the programs that I use, I use Adobe Creative Suite. Um, it's a little bit overkill and it's a little bit expensive and it's not really realistic for just um, a person that's just going to use it for regular YouTube videos and they're just getting started. So I decided to partner up with a program that I think is probably the best beginner software that you could probably use um, in terms of the functionality of it and that is uh, Filmora by Wondershare. And the reason why I really like this program is the fact that it has really powerful resources within the program but it, the interface of it, it's, it's just it's very intuitive and it's very easy to use. On top of that, I think um, some of the main functionality elements of the program that I really like is its abilities with lower thirds. So doing animated text with your videos, um, it takes a lot of work, actually. So if a program that comes with that, it really saves you a lot of time. Um, it also, what it does instead of iMovie um, and Windows Movie Maker is that it allows you to edit your audio separately and do audio on top of audio, which means that you could do like different pieces of background music um, and insert that into your video. And you can also do um, video inside video. So if you're doing like a reaction video, like a K-pop reaction video or something, it's just very intuitive and easy to use to resize uh, those photos. Great. So for those that are getting started, the main things that you really need to be able to do on top of your filming setup is um, obviously your editing software. So the whole process for YouTube is that you need to film and then possibly use a mic to record your audio separately, which I use. I use a, a Blue Snowball and you import or you sync both of those um, different files up together, which is which you need a piece of software to do. Um, Filmora luckily is able to do that. So you match your audio and your video up. And then basically the process that you do is that you cut up your video into the bits and pieces that you want for um, your final product essentially. So I like to always cut out pieces where I'm like kind of being like silent or I just go on and on and on. Um, and I like to cut those pieces out. And then you basically just make a story with all the separate clips after you've kind of edited everything down. And then you can add transitions. So I don't really add too many transitions. I know a lot of other YouTubers like to do the like flash transitions. Um, it's really personal preference and um, this program right here actually does have a lot of that. Um, so you really, it's really your artistic choice in terms of what you want to do as like a video director in terms of the kinds of transitions that you want to do. My big advice though is for you guys to actually stick with one throughout the video just to kind of make it continuous and make it a little bit cleaner because if you just add too many transitions here and there, that could work too, but it, it's just not my favorite method in my opinion. And then basically once you lay out all your clips together and you combine them out and make sure there's no blank spots anywhere, then you have fun by picking background music or uh, license free music um, and then just making sure that that audio is way lower than your audio track of you talking and then just make sure you have that in the background. That is an art in itself because you want to pick a song that it kind of reflects the character of your channel but or like the video but you don't want it to take away from what you're trying to say in your video. So I feel like um, that you get better at time with analyzing that. And I find that music without any lyrics is really um, the key here. Um, 
And also, you really want to make sure that uh, your song is license-free. Like, as in, there's no copyright issues with it. Or else, um, it can be taken down on YouTube, and you can actually even get a strike and get your account suspended, which is not what you want. Um, luckily, with Filmora, which is really cool, is that it already comes built in with, a, um, like, a bunch of, like, audio, like, uh, license-free tracks, which are perfect for YouTube videos, which you can kind of just like insert below. And I guess the final element of that is that you want to make, I feel like the biggest work that it takes um, in editing a video is either your intro, where you kind of have lots of different cuts and different effects that add onto it, or the animated lower thirds or text elements or anything on top of your video footage. Um, that takes a lot of time. So basically you're going to use different pieces of software to kind of create maybe like a text title, maybe you want, um, like if you're doing like labels or something, or if you want to uh, spell something out, like right here, um, those are all elements that I would leave to the end uh, because it just kind of um, makes the editing process a little bit smoother. And then if you, at the very end of the video, once you have everything together, that's when you can do a little, a little bit more of like the fun stuff too, which is doing like color corrections or adding filters to the entire video to kind of give it a mood. It's like you're a cinematographer at that point. So you can basically make uh, your video a little bit cooler or a little bit warmer, depending on the tone that you kind of want to have. Lighting obviously plays a role too, but actually you can create a lot of different effects through post-editing. And I noticed a lot of YouTubers actually use um, programs or um, different things to kind of shift the coloring of their videos, which is really neat. Um, Filmora is really great too because some of the filters that they have actually even uh, mimic like Instagram filters, which are really neat. Um, my personal favorite one, once again, is the 80s pack, which I'll link below um, because it gives like a really or like that MTV Tumblr esque video element to it. Um, I just really, really like that. And it's actually very hard to do, even um, definitely hard to do if you're doing it from scratch. Um, so yeah, that's probably my favorite. Great. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little breakdown of this beginner software. Um, and basically my process in terms of editing a YouTube video. Um, with that said, um, there's a free download link to Filmora, which I'll leave below. And all I'll say is that I think this piece of software is the best budget friendly software to create professional or good results essentially for your YouTube channel. So check it out if you're just in the market for looking for something that um, you want that is easy to use to edit your videos with. So yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, and if you like videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.